Today, hello students, today's lesson is going to be on variables and expressions. You'll be able to write expressions involving variables. So let's get started. Let's do some key vocabularies. So a variable is a symbol or letter that represents one or more numbers. An algebraic expression is an expression that contains numbers, operations, and variables. So in this case, n is a variable. It could be, represent any number. And n plus 24 is your algebraic expression. The parts of an expression that are added together are terms. And you can think of terms being separated. It could be like, being separated by plus or minus. Okay, that's how terms are separated by plus or minus. Um, a constant is a term that has no variable. So seven is a constant because there's no variable attached to it directly. The number in front of a variable in a term is called the coefficient. So coefficients only exist um, when there is a variable. So for instance, over here, three is a coefficient. This is just mean three X. This means three times X. So whatever that number is in front of your um, variable, that coefficient, that's being multiplied to that variable. And on top of that, if you have something like x minus 2, every variable has a coefficient. And when there is no number in front of it, think about um, what can you multiply to x to get x. And the un only number you can multiply to x to get x, or any number that you can multiply, to anything to get the same number again would be one. It's not zero, it's one. And I recommend getting in the habit of writing that one in front of it so you don't forget. Remember, methods for showing multiplication. So this is really important because now we're, because of variables, we're gonna stray away from writing the multiplication symbol, that X for multiplication symbol. We're getting away from that. The purpose of that is, we have 4y here, what if we have like 2x? Writing 2 times x like that is really confusing because it looks like 2xx. So we're now avoiding this process. This is not the one that you wanna use anymore. You could use two using the dot for multiplication. You could use parentheses for multiplication. Um, and you could just not actually write anything and make it adjacent. And as you said, it's good to know, one of the most commonly used variables in the letter X. Because the letter X looks so much like a multiplication sign, you will not use X to represent multiplication when working with variables. Instead, you will use one of the above methods. So no more X's for multiplication because we can't tell if it's a variable or if it's a multiplication symbol. So these are the preferred methods. Any of them work. All right. Use the following algebraic expression to answer the questions. How many terms are in the expression? So remember, when I talked about this over here, I said terms are separated by a plus or minus. So we have an addition here and a subtraction here. So these are our terms, this, this, and this. They're, se they're separated by a plus or a minus. So in this problem, we have three terms. What are the coefficients of the X and Y terms? So the X term and the Y terms. Coefficient is the number in front of it. So what number is in front of or being multiplied to the X? And that is five. Okay, I'll sit there and underline this in a different color. That is five. 
And for that Y, I talked about it. If there's no number in front of it, you put a one and a coefficient always takes the sign in front of it every time. So this is not just going to be one, it's going to be negative one. So this five takes on that, there's nothing there, so we're just assuming it's a positive. This, um, okay, so make sure you take that sign in front of it and get in the habit again of writing that one if there's no coefficient there. And now the constant, again, if we go back, is the term with no variable. And in this case, the term with no variable is that eight. There's nothing here, it's just the eight. So it's going to be eight. Do another one. Use the following expression to answer the question. So how many terms are in this? And I talked about it. You're just looking at plus, plus, plus. So this is going to be one, two, three, four. Four terms. So four terms. What are the coefficients of the A, B, and C terms? So A, B, C. Okay, so the A term is over here. So that is my coefficient right there. My B term is here, and that is my coefficient there. And my C term is here, and there's no number in front of it. That means there's going to be one, and that is right there. And all of these are taking the sign in front of it. I'm taking that positive with this, and they're positive, so you don't have to write it. The two is also positive. And the one is also positive. So just be mindful of that. And lastly, um, what is our constant? So the only term over here that has no number next, the uh, variable next to it is that six right here, that six. Okay. Um, we just did our Jamboard um, in my class. So let's write some terms in here, um, some vo the key vocabulary words from um that jamboard in class we're going to do it but for now i'll just write these words for you so for some for addition you're going to have some more than add which is kind of self-explanatory increase by You can write, you can have plus together. These are all terms that you can use half for addition. Subtraction minus less than fewer than. Decrease by it and difference are the ones that I thought of. Let's look at multiplication, product, times of. And you can also put in doubled, which means two times and tripled, which is three times. For division, you could put quotient. This is probably the most common division one is quotient. Most common multiplying one is product in this topic. Um, divided by, which is self-explanatory. And maybe even goes into, if you want to put that in there. I am kind of adding a few more down here. So... Some of you guys asked this um, in that last unit with me, um, squared. Squared just means you have an exponent 
of 2 cubed means you have an exponent of 3. And another one I like to add in here is quantity of. It's not, it's, it, it, you could see it. And quantity of means, means that there's most likely going to be a parentheses that's occurring there. So you might be asking, why, Ms. Patel, do you have these stars next to these over here? I have stars next to those, which you should have too, is because in these, the ordering is switched. So when you say something like five less than seven, five less than seven is not five minus seven. Five less than seven is seven minus five. You are switching the order in the way it's written. So this occurs with less than, this occurs with fewer than, um, and in subtraction, it is important. Five minus seven is not the same as seven minus five. So if you don't switch the order, it is incorrect. It, are, it also is the same thing that happens in more than. However, just because addition two plus three is the same as three plus two, most teachers don't make a big deal out of it, but it does occur with more than as well. And again, these are just more, these are the terms over here from your textbook. So let's do some translating now, okay? Translating time. So five times K and all you're, re all you're writing is an um, algebraic expression that matches the phrase. So five K, you could write it as five K or you could write it as five K. What you can't do no anymore is put that multiplication sign in the be between. This is a big no-no now. Seven more than X. And if you're not sure, you can go back to your chart and more than is addition. So seven more than X is X plus seven. And this was one of them that I said that it you, get, you switch them. So I'm just going to write it like that. But it is acceptable and okay if you write seven plus x. F divided by 2. F divided by 2. So F divided by 2 like that. Or you can just use the slash, the fraction bar. F divided by 2. Both of those work too. Let's do some more. A number y cubed and then decreased by 7. So we talked about how cubed means an exponent of three. So they're saying the y is being cubed, so it's gonna be y to the third power. And then that is decreased by seven. Decreased by seven. So you could just write subtraction here, you want on top, that happens sometimes. And you even want to write y to the third here. So y to the third decreased by seven, and that's your translation right there. We can do the same thing over here, six, times is multiplying the sum of k squared, which is k to the second, and 18. So you are summing, not that, you are, you are adding these two together. Okay, six times the sum of k squared and 18. So this is going to be six, parentheses k squared plus 18. Because you're saying it's six times the sum like of all of this. It's not saying six times k squared. It's saying six times the sum of all of that. So the parentheses need to happen there. Um, 11 plus the product of 4 and w. So 11 plus the product of these two. And product means multiplying. So 4 times w. So you could write 11 plus 4 times w. You could use any one of those product things, 11 plus 4w, or 11 plus 4 parentheses w. These are the three ways that you would do this. And last is your U-try problems. The last four slides over here are your U-try. So you're going to do this one, 
So now you're gonna like drag and drop the correct algebraic expressions. You're gonna move, you're gonna move them over here for all of these. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Bye everyone.